Hi and welcome to changing the subject of a formula. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Now, uh, this topic is all about um, changing the subject of a formula. And so just before we begin that, I just want to show you what I mean by the subject of a formula. Um, if we look at the first one, we have F equals MA. Um, and in this case, F is the subject of the formula because everything else is equal to that value all on its own. So what we want to do is we want to change the subject of the formula so that in this case, um, as A is the letter that is in red, that we make it a equals and then everything else. Um, now, um, this is a subject very closely linked to um, to science, and so every formula that I have used here um, is a formula that is from the um, physics GCSE, and they are the formulas that you are required to know. Um, and so I'm going to use those formulas um, in each case. In the first one, we have F equals MA. Now, you'll notice from the screen uh, that we've actually got two different versions of these questions, and that's because um, it links directly to the two different methods I've previously shown um, for solving equations, either the balancing method or the, um, uh, or the uh, flowchart method. So I'm going to show you both versions, uh, depending on which one you prefer as your uh, method for solving equations. And so we're going to begin with the balancing method. F equals MA, and we want to make A the subject of the formula. Well, if that is the case, we need to think about A, and we need to look at it and ask what has happened to A. Well, because it is MA, MA is two letters next to each other. If two letters are next to each other, it means they have been multiplied. And so what we need to do is we need to reverse that operation. And so instead of multiplying by M, what I'm going to say is divide by M. And I need to do that on both sides of the equation. Therefore, F is going to be divided by M. If I divide F by M, I write it as a fraction. And the MA, if I've divided that by M, well, I'm left with just A. And so now, because A is all on its own, that means that A is the subject of the formula. With P equals IV, now in this case, I want to make I the subject. And in this version, I am using the flowchart method. So the flowchart method says whatever you want uh, to find the value of, or in this case, to make the subject, that is what we start with. And so I want I as the subject of this formula. And within the formula, it says IV. That means it's been multiplied by V. Now that gave me IV. Now, if we have a look by the, uh, the equation we started with, it says P equals IV. Therefore, this is the same as P. Now, with the flowchart method, what we do is we work backwards and we reverse the operations that are on the arrows. And so instead of multiplying by V, I'm going to divide by V. And therefore, I've got P over V. And that is what I is. And therefore, I equals P over V. And now I is the subject of that formula. This time we've got um, rho equals P, uh, sorry, M over V. And so in this case, I want to make M the subject. So M is currently being divided by V. And so if I'm going to undo that, then the opposite operation would be to multiply by V. And I need to do that on both sides. And so if I multiply rho by V, I get P or rho V. And if I multiply M over V by V, I'm left with just M. And so I've made M the subject of the formula. It is rho V. And in our last example, we have P equals W over T. Now, in this case, we're using the flowchart method and we want to make W the subject. And so that is where we start in our flowchart. And in this one, W has been divided by T to give us W over T. Now, based on the equation, we know that that equals P. And therefore, all we now need to do is work backwards. And so instead of dividing by T, I want to do the opposite. I want to multiply by T. And so that gives me P T. And that is telling me what W is. W is P T. We have made W the subject of the formula. 
Okay, so the next set of um, set of formulas we're going to look at, um, they're going to take us a couple of steps in order to um, find uh, to rearrange to change the subject of that formula. Uh, but in each case, again, we're going to find that make the red letter the subject. So in e equals a half k e squared, um, what we want to do is we want to make k the subject. And so once again, what we need to just have a look at here is what has happened to k. Now, in this one, this is a slightly more complicated question, but k um, has been multiplied by a half and it's been multiplied by e squared. Now, if we really want to, we could do this in one jump, but I'm going to show you it in a couple of steps just to show where this has come from. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the multiply by a half. So if I wanted to undo multiplying it by a half, then I would want to divide by a half. Now, the other thing to be aware of there, if I'm dividing by a half, that is the same as multiplying by two. And therefore, this is two e equals k e squared. Now, it's also important to note here that the little e in the subscript there is a different letter to this one. So these two are different. This is just a subscript. This is an actual variable. Um, if I want to get k on its own, well, to get k on its own, I'm going to have to undo the e squared. But that has been multiplied, and therefore all I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by e squared as well. And so if I divide by e squared, then I've got 2e all being divided by little e squared, and it would leave k on its own. And because k is now on its own, it is now the subject of the formula. How can we do that using the, um, the flowchart method? Well, in this case, we want m to be the subject. So that's where I'm going to begin. And with m, the first thing that happened to it, it was multiplied by a half to give us a half m. And then it was multiplied by v squared. And so that gave us a half m v squared. Now, if I want to change the subject, I'm going to have to work backwards. We know that this is equal to e with a subscript k. And so the first thing I want to do is divide by v squared rather than multiplying. So that's going to be e over v squared. And then I'm going to divide by a half. Now, if I divide by a half, it is the same as multiplying by two. And so there are a couple of ways I could write this. I could write two and then everything in a bracket, but actually I'm just going to write it as two e subscript k over v squared. And therefore, for the first one, m equals two e k over v squared. Next, I have a equals v minus u over t, and we want to make v the subject. And so in this case, we've got v, we then subtracted u, and then divided by t. So in order of bid mass, the last operation that happened was the dividing by t. And therefore, that is the first one to undo. And so if I multiply both sides by t, well, I get a t, and I get v take away u. Then in order to get u uh, v all on its own, I'm going to have to add on the u. Add on the u, a t plus u equals v. And so as v is now on its own, v is the subject of that formula. And lastly, in this case, p equals i squared r. Now, again, what we always want to think about with the flowchart is what do I want to be the subject? It is i, therefore that's where I'm going to begin. And what has happened to i? Well, in this case, i has been squared to make i squared. Then i squared has been multiplied by r in order to give us i squared r. Now, if we have a look, that must be equal to p. And so I'm going to work backwards now. And instead of times and by r, I will divide by r. That's p over r. And then I need to do the opposite of squaring. What is the opposite of squaring? Well, the opposite is the square root. 
and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to square root everything that I did have so P over R and therefore I on its own is the square root of P over R and in this final section we're going to look at a few situations where we may need a couple of uh, a couple more steps in order to get our answers or we just need to be a little bit more careful as we are doing the rearranging so we've gone back to e equals a half k e squared but this time we want to make e the subject of this formula and so the first thing that i want to think about here is um, the elements which would have come last in bid mass now bid mass has brackets indices division and multiplication addition and subtraction and so in this case the multiplying by a half and the multiplying by k, they were the last operations to happen. Therefore, they are the first ones we want to undo. And so the first thing is we're either going to divide by a half or multiply by two. It's the same process, but let's go with dividing by a half as it does suggest that we multiply by a half. And so that would give us two e equals k e squared. And then we want to divide by k. So we want to divide by k as our next stage. So that's going to be 2e, little e. And that's going to be over k. It's how we show that we've divided it. And that will give us e squared. And then the last thing, if I want to get e all on its own, well, I need to undo the squared. And so the last stage is that I would want to square root. And I'm going to square root everything there. So I'm going to square root 2e over k and that would be e and so we've made e the subject of that formula next for the flowchart we've got ek equals a half mv squared and we want v to be the subject therefore that is our starting point in terms of v the first operation that is applied is the squared and therefore we end up with v squared after that it is multiplied it's been multiplied by m and then being multiplied by a half and so now all we need to do is we need to reverse all of these processes so we knew that that was equal to ek and so instead of multiplying by a half i'm going to divide by a half and all that does is it gives us half of ek instead of multiplying by m i'm going to divide so I've got 2ek over m. And then finally, rather than squaring, I need to do the opposite, which is square root. And so it's the square root of everything that we have written there. It is the square root of 2ek over m. And so v equals the square root of 2ek over m. Next, we have A equals V minus U over T. Now, this one, T is the one that we want to make the subject of the formula, but T is on the bottom of the fraction. And so in this case, we need to deal with that first because it's very difficult for us to actually um, find this value out. So what I would like to do is I want to take T from the bottom of the fraction by multiplying. So I'm going to multiply everything by t and if i do that i get a t equals v minus u now if i want to get t all on its own well i'm going to have to do a division because currently this is a times t so i'm going to have to divide by a if i am to get t all on its own and if i do that divide the whole of the right hand side by a i get v minus u over a and i've actually got t as the subject of the formula now there is a little a uh, little trick here if you'd ever do i'm just going to give you an, uh, an example using numbers um, the number four is eight divided by two now if i wanted to instead have an expression which said two equals but i wanted to use the same numbers well two would be eight over four and all that's happened here is that the bottom number has switched with the left hand side 
and we get the same answer. Now, if you have a look at our original equation, it was a equals v minus u over t. All that's happened in order to rearrange this one is that a and t have swapped. But that is only the case when it comes to uh, a division, where we're trying to get the value on the bottom of the fraction. The last one we're going to look at is a flowchart question, and it comes with the uh, question v squared minus u squared equals 2as, and we want to get v as the subject. And so, as always, that is going to be our starting point in the flowchart. The first thing that's happened to v is it was squared in order to get v squared. Now, the second step, there is only one thing that has happened. We've taken away u squared. Now, that is one large lump. We don't know what the, uh, what the value of it is. It is just one piece of information. And so we can use it all in one go. v squared take away u squared. We know that that is equal to 2as. And again, that is just one lump of information. We don't know anything else about it, so we can use it as one whole piece. 2as, going backwards, instead of taking away u squared, we will add u squared. And so that gives me 2as plus u squared. And then, instead of squaring, we want a square root. And so all I need to do is put a square root sign over the top of everything that we have right there. And so, in this case, v equals the square root of 2 a s plus u squared and we have v as the subject of the formula and we're going to end with the exam question it came from the edxl paper in june 2017 and it was on foundation paper 3 and it asks us to make v the subject of the formula t equals 4v plus 3. okay so what i'm going to do let's do this in both methods just so we can see uh, how it would work out so t equals 4v plus 3 if we were to use the balancing method, we draw our little lines in either side. And the first thing we need to undo here is the plus 3. So I'm going to take away 3 on both sides. So that's going to be t take away 3 equals 4v. And if I want to get v all on its own, well, I'm going to have to divide by 4. And so if I divide both sides by 4, it's going to be t take away 3 all divided by 4 and that equals v. We have made v the subject of the formula. If we were going to use a flowchart, well, I want to think I need to start with v and what has happened to it. Well, the first thing that happens to v, it's multiplied by 4, and that gives me 4v. And then we add 3 on, and it gives us 4v plus 3. We know that that is equal to t and so all we need to do is work backwards we need to take away 3 so t take away 3 and then we need to divide by 4 and it is everything that is being divided by 4 it is important that if you've got uh, more than one term being divided you do use the fraction and so it's t take away 3 over 4 and so we just need to write that out that v equals t take away 3 over 4